Hi everyone, it's Declan here from Central YMCA in London. I hope you're keeping well, keeping safe during this time. Um, so today's session, we're going to focus on strength training. Um, haven't done this for a while, so we're going to revisit some of the older exercises that we've done in previous videos uh, that you can always go back and check out if you haven't seen them already. So for today, um, just have a chair handy, solid chair for me. Um, We've got Fester in the corner over here, who may interfere occasionally, he may, he'll make a guest appearance. Have some water, handy as well, and if you've got any light weights um, at home, then make sure you've got some of those close by, or just water bottles or cans of something. If you prefer not to use any resistance, then that's fine, just use your body weight, it's all absolutely fine. Wear some loose-fitting clothing and comfortable shoes, please, as well. So we're going to start off as always with just with a bit of a warm up to get the body moving. So make sure you've got some space around you. Um, let's stand nice and tall. And let's just going to take a few seconds to think about our posture. So start to draw the abdominals in. Keep them nice and tight. I'm going to pop my glasses down. So imagine a belt wrapping around the waistline. Shoulders soft. Start to just roll the shoulders a couple of times here, forwards, and a few times back. Just to get a nice gentle sense of movement in the upper body and then from here we're going to start to take it into a gentle march on the spot so just a nice easy march shake out your wrists a little bit shake out your hands from here we're just going to take it into a gentle tap to the side so again just starting to get the hips to move keeping it nice and steady here comes Festa. not too <laughs> not too um, big a movement because we're still in the warm-up stage just a gentle tap to the side, side, side. You can bring the arms out to the side as well, or if it feels better, just keep the hands on the hips and just tap it out. And then from here, we're going to tap it into a heel dig, heel dig, heel dig, heel dig. So a nice, easy heel dig. And then we can add in a bicep curl. So elbows into the side, chest up, straight spine, tightness through the core. Rigum, you can take this to your own pace, as Fest is doing. Keep that pace. Let's take it to the side again now, please. Side. Arms can swing. Arms can reach out. Excellent. Take it back to a march on the spot now. So just march it out. And then come back to a nice, gentle, still stance. We're going to bring the arms up. We're going to rotate. Centre. Rotate, just to get the spine to move. Here come the toys. Nice and easy. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Try not to move your hips. We're just mobilizing the spine. And we can change this move now and we can reach to the side. Side, so just cross the body over. Just keeping it nice and smooth. No tension around the face. No tension around the shoulders. Keeping that pace steady. Three, two, and one. Come back to the march on the spot. Shoulder roll again if you need to here, and just loosen up now. All right, from here, soft knees. Re-engage the abdominals if you've lost that connection. So really think about belly button to spine. From here, let's just do some gentle calf raises. So just lift the heels up and then lower. So heels lift and lower. You can hold onto a wall if you need to, or a chair if it helps. But this is a really good one to do, just to strengthen the smaller muscles in the legs. So calf raise, so heels lift and they lower without overdoing the move. You join in faster when you're ready. Last three, good work. Two and one, and then release. Place your hands on your hips and just do a little bit of a hip round roll rotation here. So you can kind of soften your knees and just gently go clockwise and then anti-clockwise. Just do this a couple of times just to loosen up the hips. Slight lean forward and release. Shoulders nice and tall. And let's get ready now. So again, shake out your legs a little bit here as well. I'm feeling a little bit tight. Do my shoelace up now. So always double check that your shoelaces are done safely. Mine tend to come undone pretty quickly. 
stand nice and tall, re-engage the abdominals, re-engage everything around the navel, keep the spine nice and long. And from here, we're just going to do a gentle step touch. Still part of the warm-up. Bring the arms into a bit of a swing, forwards and back, just side to side. You can have some music playing here if you like, but just keep it nice and steady. Just getting the heart rate up a little bit. If it's too much with the arms, you can keep the hands on your hips. And then we're going to change this now into a gentle heel to bum. So hamstring curl, just to get your knee joints loosened up. So take your time with this. Any knee injuries, hip injuries, you can hold them to a wall and do this. But this is a nice way of getting your knee joints to loosen up, especially in the mornings. They're getting a little bit stiff. You can always hold on to a sink or a stove and just do this to get hamstrings moving, knee joints moving. We're going to change this now, and we're going to go into a gentle knee raise. So again, just getting your hips to move. We're going to change this now to doubles. So have a look. One, two, and one, two. So just alternating the two knee lifts. One, two. One and two, one, two, one and two. Nice and controlled. Three, two, and one. Release. Stand tall, shoulder on out, loosen up. Now's a chance for a water break, so grab some water if you need some water. Then just to settle in. And we're going to go straight in to some gentle squats. So if you remember, I'm going to demonstrate the squats from the side. Have your feet about hip width apart. Suck your belly in. Sit back down. And then slowly come up. So as you sit back, imagine a chair behind you. As you come up, squeeze your buttocks in. So lower. And then lift. Lower and then lift. Keep the weight in the heels on the way up. Working the legs. Keep it nice and controlled. Now, if you find squats are a little bit not to your liking, what you can do is one of the original exercises where you sit down into a chair towards the edge of the chair, keep your feet apart. Push back up, sit back down. So you can modify that exercise by doing some gentle sit to stand. Make sure the feet are a little bit wider. Keep your eye line fixed forward as you push up. If you look down, you tend to want to go there. If you look up, it makes you feel a bit safer. So we've done some squats. Kind of revisited those basic exercises. Just going to move the chair out of the way. And then we're going to pick up our weights, if you have any, or bottles of water with some cans. We're going to go into some deadlifts now, so I'm going to demonstrate from the sides. Deadlifts are going to work the core, lower back, glutes, hamstrings. Feet apart. Look up. Bend your knees. Hinge from your hips, slowly come up. So again, you hinge from the hips, slowly push up through the heels, keeping the pace nice and steady, squeezing the buttocks at the top. Make sure the shoulders stay open. I'm going to change the demonstration to face forward. You hinge, you lift. Hinge, lift. Keep looking forward. If you look down, your shoulders tend to round. You want to try and keep the shoulders neutral and relaxed. Squeeze your glutes, your buttocks at the top. Gently breathe. Lovely work. Nice work. Excellent. Straight into bicep curl now. Soft knees. Bend the elbows in. You lower all the way down. So you started working some of the bigger muscle groups with the squats and the deadlifts. We're now just going to throw in some arm exercises 
starting with biceps. So again, from the side, you can see I'm not moving the upper body. I'm just bending and then releasing. So no leaning back. We're going to do single bicep curl. One arm lifts, lowers down. Other arm lifts, lowers down. So just strengthening the arm muscles. Focus on squeezing the front of the arms. As you do that, keep it nice and controlled. For three, good work everyone's looking lovely. Two and one. Shoulders out, re-engage the abdominals, soft knees. Let's do deadlift again now. So let's just revisit a few repetitions. We're going to aim for about sort of eight repetitions here. That's two gone. Remember, keep looking forward. Squeeze your butt up to the top. Good work. Okay, we're halfway there. You've got about four left after this one. Changing pace. You can see how I'm hinging. My lower back is lengthening. Knees are bending. Getting some movement in the hips. And the lower back, keep the abdominals tight. Lovely work. And then release. Bicep curl again. Both arms together. Squeeze. Lift up. Release. Lift up. Release. Single arm. Nice and steady. No leaning back. Keep the pace. Controlled. Slow. And one more. Good work. Shake up the hips, roll up the shoulders, loosen up the neck. Upright rows, working the upper back, shoulders now. Soft knees, look up, straighten up through the spine. We're going to lift and we're going to lower down. So again, we're just going to lift up to about breastbone height. Elbows lead. So we're going to change this now to single arm upright rows, alternating. And just working the less dominant side of the body. But again, keeping it controlled, keeping it slow. Let's do both arms together to finish off. You've got three more. You've got two more. And you've got one more. And then just release. Good work. Pop the weights down. A little break. Shake up the hands a little bit. Maybe just move your fingers, so we'll pop them right to the side, shake up the hands, roll out the hips, shoulder roll out. Excellent work. All right. Let's just do a little bit of a rewarm now. So you can maybe just stand on the spot and maybe just do a little bit of a semi-jog. Or if you're feeling up to it, you can just do a gentle walk forwards and back a few times. Just to loosen up the body before we continue. It's always good to do a little bit of a cardio intervals. When you are doing strength training, so the body has a chance to recover. And then we're going to hold still here. Good. Now, for this, you may need a chair to hold on to. So we're going to move this chair. So I've got that there as an example. We're going to work the outer hip, the abductor. So the heel is down, toes are up, hand on hip. We're going to gently go out to the side a few times. Now you can see that I'm upper body is staying upright, chest is lifted, there's no leaning over. Doesn't have to be a big movement, it can just be a few inches. The supporting leg should be strong. Keep it nice and controlled. Three, two, and one. I'm going to move to the other side now. I'm holding on to something else. Stand tall, re engage the abdominals, heel down, toes up, gently go up to the side. So, no sudden movements. Just go as high as you feel comfortable. What you want to avoid is kind of this leaning over. That's cheating. Yeah, you're going to take away the work on the outer thigh. So, smaller movement sometimes is actually more impactful on the body. Smaller movements. Three more. Two more. And one more. Good work. Shake back your hips. You should have felt that on the outer thighs here. A little bit in the glutes as well. The buttocks too. That 
good one to do if you do a lot of walking or cycling because it strengthens the muscles around there. If it helps, just do a little bit of that for me. But otherwise, you can lift the leg up and just do some rotation out to the side. Just a few times out, just to loosen everything up. And then we're just going to take it into a gentle tap back. So I'm going to demonstrate from the side. Just tap your foot back, nice and slow, squeezing the buttock as you tap back. Tap it back, tap it back. Keep it nice and controlled. Then you can start to reach the arms forward. Good work. Four more, three, two, and one. Excellent, shake out the legs a little bit, shake out the hips, shake out the weights again if you're using them or, or any of the water bottles or cans. So we're gonna work the chest now. So again, weights are optional, not compulsory. Take the arms up, okay, almost seems to let a W, soften the knees, squeeze them in and out. So that's all we're doing. Keep that pace steady, slow and controlled. Squeeze the breastbone in as you work your chest. You should be feeling that now. Three more, relax the shoulders, two more, and one more and release. Check out your hips, roll up the shoulders, loosen up the neck a little bit. If you found that hurt the neck, just do a few head nods. Okay, so again, second set, we're gonna lose weight. Same exercise, just using your body weight. So second set, you can hold on to the weights if you like, or just use your body weight, because I'm still feeling that in my chest muscles. Breathe, don't hold your breath. Three more, two more, and one more, and release. So that should have felt with that area there, getting the chest to work. All right, so from here, we're gonna take it back to working the shoulders now. We're gonna do frontal raise, lateral raise. So again, weights are optional. Get the weights up safely. Remember to deadlift the weights up. If, you, if they're on the floor for safety, we're going to go lateral, frontal, lateral, frontal, lateral, frontal. Keep it controlled. Keep it nice and controlled. Just to shoulder height, no higher. Good work. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. And release. Shake it out. Loosen up the neck again if you need to. Have a little break. Second set, frontal, lateral. Lateral, frontal. Lateral and frontal. Just do one more now. Then we're going to change the anterior of this. So have a look. We're going to combine both. So one arm goes front, one arm goes side, you lower down. Then you alternate front side, you lower. Front side, lower. So just combining those two movements, shoulder height, no higher, lift, lower, lift, lower, you've got three more, it's looking really good, nice and strong, two more, and one more, well done, shake it out, so that was working front of the shoulder and upper back shoulder, let's just loosen up here a little bit and grab a water break if you need a water break, if not, just march on the spot. So, we've worked chest, biceps, we've worked shoulders, we've worked the legs a little bit. We're now gonna focus on a little bit on the lower body again. We're gonna combine 
upper body. So we're going to do some wide squats. So for this one, you need to laterally rotate your feet out to the side. If that feels uncomfortable, you're welcome to just go back to doing narrow squats with your feet facing forward. So choose the option. We're going to hit the inner thighs now and the glutes. So hands on hips, chest up, lower down, and then lift up. Lower down, and then lift up. So keeping it nice and controlled, no sudden moves. Bend the knees down, and you lift up. Bend the knees down, lift up, no leaning forward. I'm going to change my position to do side so you can see me. Quick break. Chest up, lower, and lift. It's not about hips hitting the floor, but just go down as low as you feel comfortable. Lift up, lower, lift up, lower down, lift up. One more, and then release. Step it in. Shake it out. Shake up the legs a little bit. Shake up your hips. Do whatever you need to do now. Shake up your wrists, your fingers. Just loosen up the body. So again, we're going to repeat that. So wide squat, hitting inner thighs, squeezing buttocks, squeezing bottom as we come up. Hands on hips. You lower, lift, lower, lift. No sudden moves. Good work. Four more. Three. Good. Two. And one. Step it in. Shake out the legs. Shake out the ankles. Do whatever you need to do now. Roll out the shoulders a little bit. Loosen up. Shake out the hips. Almost there. One more set of exercises to do. We're going to pick up our weights again. Okay. And for this, I'm going to demonstrate from the side. So we're going to do some rows. So feet hip width apart. Bend the knees. Push your bum out. Pull in. Release. Squeeze. Release. Elbows brush the ribcage as you pull back. Keep looking up, don't look down. You can change. I'm going to change my position. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Retract the shoulders, pull them in. Good. One more, and then release. Shake it out. Second side, we're going to do the high rows. Palms facing towards your hips. Bend your knees, look up, lift. Lift up and lower. Up and lower. Up and lower. Changing direction. So you can see. You can see how my elbows are moving away from my body. Keep looking forwards. Got four more. Got three. Good work, everyone. Two. And one. Well done. Check it out. Perfect. Excellent. Shake up the hands a little bit. Have a little break. And then again, let's do a box step here just to loosen everything up. So just go step, step, back, back, out, out, in, in. Pick up the pace when you can. Just to loosen up the hips a little bit. A little bit of a cardio move just to get heart rate up. Shake out the hands, shake out the wrists if you need to. <sighs> Stay focused on your breath. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. Well done. Excellent work. Shake everything out. All right. Going into a little bit of a cool down now, a little bit of a stretch. So you might want to have a, oh, here comes trouble, here he comes again. <laughs> but you just got in time for the stretch, Chris. Can you see the little one? Wave to everyone. <laughs> Say hello to everyone. Yay! Yay! Welcome to Ortho City. Oh. You see, he's doing his cardio. I know he's going crazy. He's going crazy, people. 
Because you're going to the stretch now. <coughs> Sorry about that. It's a bit of a comic interlude there anyway. I hope this made you smile a little bit. When you film these things, anything can happen. Dogs can come in going crazy, anything can happen. All right, so you might want to have a chair for some of the stretches, but you might want to do them standing. Up to you, absolutely fine. Chris is going to clearly go a bit crazy behind me, and he's just hit the toys now. So what I want you to do is just stand nice and tall, and just for a couple of seconds here, relax the shoulders, breathe, soften the breath, start to round, and then open out. So just gently round the shoulders, and then lift up. So just do this a few times for me, just to loosen up the upper back shoulder area and release. And then from here, take one arm, cross it across the chest with the other arm, hold on, pull it in, breathe. He's got his snake, people. He's got his snake. It's serious. Release. Take the other arm across, stretch out your shoulders a little bit for me. Maybe move your wrists as well if it feels good. Move the fingers and then just release down. Excellent work. Now hold on to the chair if you need to on the wall. Bring one leg forward, heel down, and then sink forward gently. So you feel a stretch through the back of the leg. The option here as well, if you have a chair handy, is just to pop the heel on the chair and lean forward. You should feel quite a strong pull through the back of the leg. Shouldn't be painful, but should feel like, oh, you've got a little bit of a pull through the hamstring muscle. So a little bit of uncomfort is to be expected, but no pain. Pain is bad, back off. Easing out, release. Swap into the other leg. So the option is either this one, heel on the floor. Good boy. Or you can pop your heel on there and just lean forward. Try not to collapse, keep lifted, breathe into it, and then gently and slowly release all the way down. Shake it out. Fantastic. Now, your triceps, back of the arms, take one arm up, drop, with the other hand, hold on to the elbows, gently pull back. If this is uncomfortable, you've got the option of just bringing the arm from the front or just supporting the elbow like that. So whatever feels more comfortable for you. You can do this one seated as well if you prefer, but it just helps to soften your shoulders as well. And then gently release. Take the other arm up, drop, hold back, or come up from the front, or just support, hold like that. Whatever well, feels more comfortable and release. And for the stretches, you're aiming to hold them for about 20 to 30 seconds, maybe a bit longer if you've got some time. Standing on one leg now for the quad, using a chair if you need to. Option one, if you have a knee injury, this may be enough for you. Just bend the knee, stay there. If you can hold on to the back of your shoe or your pants and draw in, that's fine. You can hold on to the ankle, lift up, that's fine as well. Just breathe into it. Nice and controlled, hold. Try and keep the knees together and then release. Second one, we're going to do facing forward. So again, you bend. This may be enough, keep your hips in line. If you can, grab hold around the back of the shoe or your pants, lift. All around the ankle, lift up, feel the front of the thigh, open up. Just breathe into that. It's getting a bit crazy again in the corner. And then gently release that leg slowly, shake it out. So that was your quadricep hamstring stretch. Place your hands into your jeans pockets or interlock your fingers and then gently just lift, draw away from you, or just lift up, look up, opening up your chest, breathe into that, gentle breathing it out through the nose if you can, and then release down. 
take the arms overhead, flex to the side, flex to the side, a few times, and then just gently release the arms down, shoulder roll out. Well done, everyone. That was excellent. So I hope you enjoyed that. It was just a short little um, workout. It's about 30 minutes, just over 30 minutes. Um, and it just kind of worked the legs, chest, upper back, a little bit on the arms. So just one to do if you haven't got a lot of time, if you're busy, but you just want to kind of squeeze something into the day, a little bit of cardio there as well. Um, so please remember to like, comment, share um, the Central Wines here YouTube channel. Um, it's much appreciated. Uh, Thank you so much for the donations over the last couple of months. They are really appreciated. And if you do want to keep making any donations, they'll be gratefully received. There is a link below that you can go to, uh, to the YMCA um, Just Giving page. I will keep doing the home workouts. And um, yeah, so just anything you want more of, let me know. Um, I'm planning on doing another Zumba one as well this week. So keep an eye out for that. But remember to go to the playlist button, click on that. And it'll take you to the different types of workouts. There's chair-based Pilates, stretching, mobility, strength, and Zumba gold. Yes, sir. You want to come here quickly and wave goodbye? Come. 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 Let me say goodbye. Bye. Look, then you've got to look in the camera, boy. Bye. Look. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Come on. Always oh, going crazy, people. All right. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Stay well. I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.